Well, it's a historic night here in Nashville. It's September 2nd, 2010, and Brooks and Dunn, they're doing their last concert here in Nashville. And we get to interview and chat with the beautiful and world-famous Mandrell sisters, Barbara Louise and Earlene. Hi, ladies. How are you all? Great to see you. They're beautiful. Both oh, of you oh, are listen beautiful. To you. Both of you are beautiful. Uh, you all just look stunning. Let us oh, just start by you. saying you We're look We're here for beautiful. a very fun, casual evening that'll be doing all of our, it already is doing our hearts a lot of good because it's raising money for the uh, orphans and the widows in Kenya yeah. there and helping. And it just, how wonderful, what a blessing to get to have fun and yet do something good. You Absolutely. Know. So yes. this is great. Amen. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. When was the last time the three of you all were together like this? Has it been a while? All three of us, yes. We see each other. You know, usually it's two at a time. <laughs> That's we, about we did do the shotgun shoot because we all love shotgun sports, which was about, I don't know how many months ago, to honor our father who had passed away last spring. So we get together, besides just family holidays, we got together the second time in, um, this year. It's not often, but I spend a lot of time with both of my sisters. The thing is, I retired almost 13 years ago. Right. They are not retired. And Louise, in fact, is in the midst right now of rehearsal and getting ready for right. a huge Christmas show mm -hmm. that happens at the Opryland Hotel mm -hmm. in the big ballroom. Right. And, and, <laughs> and it's wonderful uh, what she does. And there's lots of dancing in that right, show. Right, right. And I mean good, strong, dangerous, I might add. But, yes. but, but I think we always, all three of us, back when we were doing our television show, I think that's what we loved so much, too, was the, the dancing we did and our partners were superb. I mean, famous. One of them uh, is now a, a, a big actor in Italy, mm -hmm. big time, where they, like the Beatles, where they chase him wow. and mob him. And um, my partner of all those years um, became a choreographer and he choreographed things and he was also you know the michael jackson video of beat it where when they tied their wrists together and they were to, well the guy that the that the other guy was tied to well how would you know how would i know what, the, uh, i don't i don't know how to vince uh, patterson is his name anyway he is directed now he's a director yeah, and uh yeah. They, they all went on to be very, very famous, our dance partners. Yes. And they, they have taken us with them. <laughs> isn't that the truth? <laughs> but the thing is, I think, um, I, I think you'd agree with me, Erlene and Louise, um, our partners were so superb and so fantastic and polished that even when we did what one, one would call dangerous lifts, I was never scared. Were you? Hardly ever. No, I love that I didn't have to learn the steps. <laughs> yeah, if you do a lift or something, you're ahead. <laughs> well, we grew up watching Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell Sisters show. Well, you thank are you. amazing dancers. So I'm oh, a well, huge thank fan. you. Thank you so much. Well, we've actually stepped out on the floor before, you and I. We, we had a great time yes. out there. Now, so. you're not jealous of that, are you? No, but that was very forcibly, because I remember your face that night. We were taping a show, and Barry went up to Louise and said, since you're here, I think you should get out and two-step with me. And her face was... Really? <laughs> uh, she was awesome. You you, you follow so wonderfully, and, oh, and so many you. times, you know, you. Uh, ladies, don't what take this personally. girl would not follow you? <laughs> oh, listen to you. <laughs> Anywhere and everywhere. Am I blushing <laughs> yet? <laughs> okay, well, Barbara, we know, you know, you retired back in 97. We saw Last Dance, and it was truly phenomenal. Yeah, so what are you doing? I know folks are wanting to know what are you doing these days. I'm a full-time housewife, homemaker, mm -hmm. and um, all three of our children are grown, but... I'm privileged and blessed to say they, they come every week we see them all and they're all real busy and leading exciting lives mm -hmm. and uh, even my, my niece and my uh, nephew and niece and niece, um, um, it's a, we're, to have a family like it's our treasure, it's just our treasure. Amen. We have great kids. So. Louise, you have your Christmas show coming up, correct? Yes. And then Erlene, tell us what you're doing as well, because it happens Besides here at the Palace, the right? West, and so I travel outside of the country some and do um, outdoor shows. I host a show most of the year here at the National Palace on weekends. I want everybody to come out and see how great it is here. And it's always a lot of fun. I don't always have my sisters with me, though. They could come if they wanted to, though, right? <laughs> tell them the big news. I just got engaged too. Congratulations! Yeah. You guys heard I'm very it first. Happy. His name is Bruce Gibson. He's a wonderful man, and um, 
He won't be able to make it tonight, but you know, I'd love for everyone to meet him sometime. Would you please tell them some other big news? My niece, Vanessa, your daughter, your oldest daughter, what does she do for a living? Uh, okay, and Vanessa will be here later tonight. She couldn't be here on time because she is teaching ballroom dancing. Right, but she's also right. singing and performing yes. too. So yes. I'm, we're uh, actually yeah. going to go out and visit with her out in Portland. She's going to have one of her Friday night socials, and we're going to go out and dance. Oh, perfect! With her, so, That'd yeah. be great. We're excited. We're excited to do that. Well, let me ask you this: because we are trying to raise money for Seek, we have a guitar here from the Nashville Palace, and we want to know if you all will sign it on camera here, and we're going to put this on the home page of the Line Dancer Magazine website and then people can just click on the link to you uh, to uh, eBay and then that way there they can go ahead and bid on it so this will be a one-of-a-kind guitar first of all the people here at the National Palace were so gracious in giving the guitar and now you get to witness the authenticity of the three Mandrell sisters actually signing it so bid heartily yes <laughs> Okay, one more thing I have to do, Barbara, that's a little bit like a shameless plug here for myself. Back in 1977, I actually did a fair with you in Brooklyn, Connecticut. Oh, my word. Now, we word. can't make fun of the hair here on either one of oh, us, yes, okay? Oh, no. my word. And I was wondering if I could have you sign this for me while we're here. Look at you and look at me. We have the same hairdo. <laughs> Let's I know, I actually you look like the, the Dutch boy. See this? Absolutely, yes. I'm going to show it to all of our friends that are watching. Back in 1977. This hair looks like mine, doesn't it? <laughs> Just different color. I think we have the same stylist. <laughs> oh, this is something. I knew there would be like a hair joke somewhere in there that we Let would Let me sign it off to... camera because my lap is a little okay. lumpy. That would be great. I would love to do that uh, so that could, I can treasure that forever. Well, I hope people know how. Um, I know they know how much fun dancing is, but I hope they realize how good it is for you. Mm. And uh, it's just the most fun way to get the best exercise. Absolutely. I know that I never had a weight problem when I was working because I danced. But boy, I got a weight problem going on now. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? I, I don't dance a lot around the <laughs> around the house, okay? But keep up your dancing, and 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 like sometimes, if there was a really difficult step in the choreography, uh, something really that you find it most difficult to do, I know I'm speaking for me, but I bet y'all would say the same. You you just keep demanding it of yourself and all of a sudden it's going to click in and you're going to have it and it'll make sense. Isn't that right? Oh yeah. You know, I, I do think though the most asked question I've had in the last two years is why don't you do Dancing with the Stars? But I have been for years Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and it's fun. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you all really didn't have any background in it when you first started, did you? No. What did you mean by that? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, we had we were not dancers. We hadn't danced. I think they figured that out. Yeah, well, well, we're actually showing some clips of this right now. So we've got some clips from the show where you. Well, all I remember getting... our choreographer, who uh, passed on several years ago now, um, at only 53 years old, uh, Scott Salmon, um, was so wonderful and so loving and so patient. Uh, but Scott. There was, um, I think it was our second or third show that we did. Dolly Parton was one of our guests. And he did a number with a duet with Dolly and I, um, Can't Buy Me Love. Um, and he used two male dancers, one of which ended up being Vince Patterson, my partner. But he used two males. And all they did with the, with the they were like two mannequins in this scene where she and I were in the set in a, in a store. And at the very end they put like diamonds just bent over like a, a robot type of thing and put it around her neck and something around me. I don't remember, but that's all there was to it. And then, and then he, um, he had us do like a clog or something in an opening number. We liked it so well, because we, I was afraid at first that the country audience wouldn't, it was kind of on the cutting edge, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. To put dance. Yeah, we, that's a long time ago. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm trying to make us, I'm making a serious point. There was nobody in country music that they, it really wasn't accepted yet, you know? Right, right. And so um, we then began to say, no, we want to dance with partners and we want to, and, and then we'd push harder and we'd say, we want to do more, didn't we? we just, oh, yeah, until, until you had a dream and we let, <laughs> 
with every dance we could possibly think of in one week. Yeah, I had there was a production number. I, I literally I had this dream one night and I grabbed the only thing I could find was a, a paper sack that I ripped open and just wrote in different of um, I saw us instantly the music never ending. We started out singing and we, we bookended and we ended singing. But it went from different dance styles, uh, the Charleston, the Walls, the Jitterbug, the disco, the mm -hmm. all these different things, yeah. okay? But never stopping. It's just that the camera, when the camera would change, we were in another costume, another hairdo, oh, right. another, and so was our partner. And so they, Scott began to call it Barbara's Dream, uh, dream because we were not a, a special, we were a weekly series, and this was a very pricey number to yeah. do, if you can imagine. Mm -hmm. So anyway, then uh, the <laughs> um, uh, Marty Croft of the Croft Brothers, he started calling it Barbara's Nightmare because it did cost a little bit to do that. And we had to work a lot in one week to get all of those many different, but it was, I wouldn't take it, anything for oh, it. Oh no. Uh, dance number now. Well, you know, because you're dancers, that it's, it's your job when you're dancing, even if it's the most difficult thing you've ever tackled, the object is to make it look wonderful and fun and, and make it look easy. Absolutely. Yeah, make it look yes. easy. Yes. Yes. Proud of, the things you work the hardest for, the things you're most proud of when it's right, over. Right, right. And I remember that number because it had such lavish costumes in it and everything. It was it was incredible. It really it really was. Thank you. Yes, Thank you for remembering it. it. Yeah. I appreciate that. You all have truly been an inspiration to so many, and you you definitely have been trailblazers for country music. You brought a whole new audience to it worldwide, and of course we're going out right now to so many dancers around the world, and and this is just so great to be able to talk about dancing. Well, with you're you all so as well. great to take this time with us, oh, and thank you for oh, plugging. Uh, thank you. What my daughter Jamie's trying to do oh, to we, help. We love Jamie. We really do. Yes. And buying this guitar will make a big difference in a lot of young people's lives. Absolutely. It will put food on the table that, even though they don't have a table, it'll give them food. It'll take care of. Yeah. Do you realize thirty dollars, just thirty dollars, will feed one child for a month and house them and doctor them because That's many, amazing. many of these little children in Kenya and they have AIDS mm -hmm. and there's also uh, widows there with their children and um, it's it's hard for us we're so blessed oh absolutely but yes. it's it's hard to imagine yeah. but yeah definitely to to those that a lot is given I think a lot's expected you right. know so right. Thank you for Thank doing you this. Thank you so much. Well, I'll tell you what, we, I would love to sit, and I know Darian and I would Five, love six, to... Seven, oh, I know. oh, gosh. It's like no autopilot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, her feet are moving. Well, we know there's so many people here that want to visit with you, and we feel selfish taking all your time like yeah. this, but we really, Thanks. really appreciate Thanks. you taking the time to sit and chat with us. I know the dancers appreciate it. This, we want to raise a lot of money for Seek, Thank so you. please go on to the website and click on the link it'll take you to eBay and put in there put a big bid in there well are we and and this is this is not very common not only it's wonderful that it's a guitar a really good guitar but she works she meets people she signs autographs she does she works she says she does I don't work but I sign a lot of things and do <laughs> my point is to have all three of us, I'm just telling you the truth, I'm not trying to be funny. No, it's totally very rare agree. because yes. we only time we worked together was on our television show. Right. So this is special to have the three of us together. So thank you for letting us share. Part of that historical thing share. I'm talking about tonight, that's for sure. Thank you. Well, ladies, Barbara, Louise, Erlene, thank, thank you. you so much. May God bless you, all three of you. And, and uh, hopefully we get a chance to sit down in the future and do this again. That would be great. And God bless yes. all of you. Thank you. Keep on dancing. Yes. All right, dancers, thank you so much for tuning in to Nashville Notes. You've seen a very historical moment right now with all three of the Mandrell sisters together again. We're Barry and Darian Amato. Thanks for watching.